wow it's so good to have you here thank you for stopping by on my channel this is Tolex Africa youtube channel i want to say a very big thank you to every one of you that subscribed to my channel thank you for your feedbacks thank you that has been encouraging i really really appreciate them and if you're new on my channel you just have to subscribe yes so click the subscribe button right now because you just don't want to miss out on any of our tutorial this is a lifestyle and fashion channel so we have a lot of things coming your way don't forget you need to turn on the notification bell as well so that you don't miss any yeah any of those amazing tips and tutorials coming soon so on today's tutorial we're talking about fashion illustration how you can sketch your designs you know you have those ideas on your head and you've been thinking and thinking about it you can't even interpret it you can't even sketch it out to someone so right now i'm going to be teaching you how you can sketch your designs you know how you can just imagine something and just pull them down in your sketch pad and see them later and be happy so let's get started so fashion illustration is very interesting and your creativity is very very important in fashion illustration so there really no wrong or right way to it just that you just have to make sure you're interpreting the right thing to your client or your tailor if you're just the designer so we'll be making use of elongated image i really don't like when your image is plus size or short or i just want it kind of a perfect sorry if there's any word like that a perfect human figure so for the purpose of this tutorial i'm gonna be drawing an image of 10 inches so you divide your sketch pad into two equal halves and I'm just gonna do 10 inches so that's my vertical based line and i'll divide the 10 inches into 10 so that's one inch per column so i'm going to divide it this is just one inch per column you know you can actually play around with your own is allowed then I'll make my horizontal lines faintly this is just to guide you so that you can divide your image into the right proportion these are just the guidelines as time goes on you will need these lines and another thing is that the more you practice this the better you are at it so I have 10 columns right now yeah so the next thing I'm going to do now is that I'll label my lines so that you guys can understand while I explain one starting from line 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 seven eight nine and ten so the first thing i'll be doing right now is that i want to sketch out a skeletal image then i'll flesh it up later i really want you to understand so i'm going to be taking it from the very scratch so like i said each column is the size of an head each column is the size of a head so I'll go ahead and draw my head. So that's my head. And in between line one and two is my shoulder line. So I'm just going to make a line for that. And that's my shoulder. My shoulder. So on line three, I'll be having my waist. Let me just bring it out so that you can see very well. So I'll be having my waist on line three. I'm just going to connect it with my shoulder line. 
remember this is a skeletal image we are sketching we'll still flesh it up so on line four will be my hip so my shoulder and my hip measurements they are the same whatever you use for your hip is whatever you should use for your shoulder So on my line 5, that will be where my finger is. Let me just label it so that you won't mix them up. I said on my first column is where my head is. In between like 1 and 2 is where the shoulder is. Then on, the two, on line 2 is the bust area. Then line 3 is my waist. Then line 4 is the hip. Don't forget I said... Whatever you use for your shoulder should be what you use for your hip. For instance, you can see they are on the same line. So, on line 5 would be the end of my fingers. So, in between line 4 and 5 would be where my crotch would be. Just in case you want to sketch a trouser, you will really need that. Then in between line six and seven, half of line six and seven on this point is where my knee will be. So I'll just make a circle there so that I don't make mistake. Then I will make a line from my lower hip. Remember, this is still a skeletal sketch, so no. So like that, you can see it's already looking like an image. Then from line six to, okay, I already said that like six to my seven is the knee point. Then on line nine is where I'll have my hanko. So it depends on how you want your hanko to be. If you want it close up like a leg that is closed and that's fine. So since you're still making a skeletal sketch, I'll just connect it to my ankle for my knee. Then for my feet, I'm just going to make something like a V on the floor length and just connect it to the ankle. That's easy as that. Yes, so we are yet to sketch the hand. So for my elbow and waist, they should be on the same line. So line three is our waist slash elbow line. Anytime you're sketching, your elbow and your waistline must be on the same line. So is your wrist and your crotch should always be on the same line. Okay, I'll show you that right now. So since our elbow and our waist is on the same line, I'm just going to make a circle on my waistline and connect it to the shoulder can you see that so like i said my crotch depth and my wrist should always be on the same line for a fashion figure so i'll connect that to And I said, on line 5, we we'll have our fingers. So, you sketch your finger. I hope you can see that clearly. Can you see that? So, you do that on the other side too. Yeah, so we have our skeletal image so right now we're fleshing it out so that it can look like a real image but you already know the proportion you already know so 10 head figure so you have to practice this first then you try to flesh it out i will show you how to flesh it out now so these are the right proportion. Let me just go through it again. 
we divided the whole vertical length into 10 column we used 10 inches 10 inches sorry so dividing it into 10 one inch for each color and on the first we have a head in between the first and second we had a shoulder then two the fullest part of our bust then um, three the waist slash elbow line for the hip line that's the fullest part of your hip then five we have the finger tip end then between line six and seven we have the knee point on line nine we have the ankle and ten is our feet yeah so that is quite explanatory let's go to fleshing up now we are about to flesh up our image so we start from the neck region from the neck you connect to your shoulder it's as simple as that so you connect to your shoulder you connect to your elbow now we are fleshing it up so you really don't want to see the skeleton part again so from line two i'll bring the inner arm to the circle i made those circles are very very important so from there again i'll come to the lower part of the arm and bring it down then at my wrist i connect it and that's it for the arm so for the waist line this is too angular for me so i'll shape it out i'll make it really curvy so on the hip, I'll go ahead and do the same thing. I'll curve it down and bring it down to the knee. From the crotch line as well, inner part of the tie, I'll connect it down. You can see that. And I'll come down from my knee to the ankle. You know, it gets thinner as it goes to the ankle sorry anytime you're sketching you need to have a cleaner so you can correct your mistakes So you can see we have an image on a part of the side i'll do exactly the same thing on the other side of the image from line two as well shape your waist shape your hip and bring it down to the knee the inner part of the tie as well connect it to the knee So connect it down like so and we have an image already so now i can clean off my skeletal parts if i still want to use the same page for the sketch or i want to go to another page and make my sketch so guys you can see what the image looks like now it's more beautiful than when it was the skeletal part that we sketched now we have fleshed it up and it's looking really really good you know we're almost there we're not there yet because there's still a lot more to do on this image however at this point you can decide to sketch your design on the dress i'll definitely put you through on how to do that in my next video but i need to tell you that you can actually add to the hip if you want the hip bigger you can just play around with the image the way you want it if you want this hard glass image this is already looking hard glass but if you want it more elaborate you can just create your own measurements and walk around it so it is important for you at this point to subscribe and also turn on the notification bell because 
you don't want to miss the next video where we'll be wearing beautiful dress for this my model thank you so much for watching guys thanks for subscribing to my channel you know i love you from your girl to africa see you in my next video bye